Hi, I'm going to be looking at the Workspace ONE UEM Linux agent today. The agent itself can be downloaded from the My Workspace ONE portal. Um, it's compatible with all versions of Linux running on x86-64 or on ARM. And the version that I'm running on and testing here is a version of Ubuntu. Um, and I'm running it in VMware Workstation 15.5. It's not the latest version of Workstation, but you know, it's working fine for what I'm demonstrating here today. There's a number of different ways to enroll your Linux device into the Workspace ONE instance, whether that's being done via a command line string um, that then injects the full URL and username and password, or whether you just install the agent and then go through the enrollment cycle afterwards. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do today. The instance I'm enrolling into is just into one of my uh, sandbox test environments, and that's running version 20.5.0.5 of Workspace ONE. So first things first, I need to copy over the Linux agent to my Linux OS. Um, because I'm using Workstation, I can do copy and paste, but obviously in real world, you might use USB key or some sort of file transfer. So I'm just gonna extract that, this is a zip file, oh, apologies. So extract here, and then I need to go into the terminal window, and do a command line. Okay, let me just get this a little bit bigger. So I can see what's going on. Actually, let's just go once more. Okay, so I'm just gonna change. Okay, just to elevate my privileges here. Yeah, that's worked. Root. <clears throat> okay, so you can see that I've got the zip file there, which obviously at the stage could be deleted, as well as the agent itself. Um, so first off, I need to change the permissions to make it uh, execute. So, oh, uh, keyboard language is wrong. I'm still set to US, but anyway, doesn't matter. We'll work around that. And that'll be 10. That's what's just one. And that should be good. Okay. And now I should do the install. So temp location. Allowed. Okay, so that's gone. That's installed the agent. Yeah, so you can just see there through the notifications, <clears throat> just check for user, creating a user, um, installing the agent. You can see where it's put it. So if I then um, change to that location, you can see there that I've got the GitHub directory. So in there, I've got a number of you know, yeah, files, text files. Um, I want to go to, to the bin location, which have the enroll. So then I can do I run it from here, or I'm going to drop back. Let me just quickly see if I can do it from here. So be the hub and then till program. You have to reread it a couple of times to make sure I'm doing any typos. So 
been one Okay, so Polyleth got to put hyphen and roll off at the end of it. Maybe that's outside the brackets. <clears throat> so yeah, so that was, was just a bit of format there. So it was the hyphen roll, obviously, stupidly first time I put it in the quotes, it should have been outside. <clears throat> so, um, it, you know, I don't use links that much. There are a few quirks um, in terms of where you run things from. And I've always found that if you put the full path in, it seems to execute programs differently to, to being in the location in the same way you would be, say, if you're in a DOS prompt. So I've triggered that. So now I'm just going to enter all my details for my specific sandbox. Then prompted for your organizational group, so where that will be enrolled to. Or the I said where it'd be enrolled, more like the OG, it would be enrolled to so the organizational group. And a username that you can use to enroll. So once you enter your server, organizational, and username and password, you should then go through and attempt the enrollment. This is also then contacting your Workspace ONE instance. Okay, so you can see there, Workspace ONE Intelligent Hub enrollment completed successfully. So what we will do now is um, we will drop across to my management console. So from a client side, you don't really see anything different. Um, this that agent will now be running and be enrolled. Do a refresh here. You can see there <clears throat> that I've got a Ubuntu Linux machine that was last seen 42 seconds ago. So come in here, see some basic information. Um, as I said, it's very much version one. I can see the version of Ubuntu, I can see it's enrolled, and um, I can see some device information. So at the moment, it's kind of more asset type of information. Uh, from more actions, got a few options. So it's called Matthew Ubuntu Linux. Maybe I want to change that. Change the you know, device name for a name Ubuntu Linux. Uh, now five to four. I can define what type of device it is. Uh, save that. <clears throat> so as mentioned, this is um, very much version one. But what we do is work with our community, our customers. We have the option to try and drive some uh, enhancements and changes. There's more coming later this year. But this is how you can help. If you visit um, the you know, VMware knowledge base through here, you can see that there's information on how to submit an enhancement request. So you just need that KB article number. And essentially through here, um, for the Linux agent, you'd go into Workspace One UEM, but here there are links for Horizon, productivity apps like Boxer, you know, identity access management, most personal intelligence. So you can come through for anything and you'll reach a platform called AHA. And through here, you can submit enhancement requests or, or you know, product changes. So if you have any ideas or any ways you'd like to use the Linux agent, what type of functionality you would like into it, so you can come in here and you could submit that yourself. Um, as I say, there are some enhancements coming through our own development later this year. Um, but also, obviously, it's great to hear from customers and, and see how they want to use it, what they'd like to do, and try and build those things in again. So thanks for your time, and hope this was of use.